good morning. Tony here, down south of Ventures. Uh, just thought today I'd make a bit of video. Um, I've changed my boat and show you a little bit about my setup. Um, um, so I've done a bit of work to it. Uh, put the seats on, one there, and the one I'm sitting on. Put a little bit of flooring in. Uh, and a bit of a wee workbench, uh, rod holders, and 30 horsepower two-stroke Tohutsu on it, so it comes along quite well. And over here we have um, a little 54-pound thrust trolling motor, which I tend to use not so much for trolling, but for um, uh, when I'm casting little Narrabri jigs or fly fishing it's um, it's really good yeah so she's a corker day here on Lake Dunstan today um, piece of mooring is just over there and the piece of range in behind so today's fishing I'm going to head up to the top of the lake but there's quite a good wee trolling run just up as it gets there's flats out in front of me there, um, sort of between one and three metres deep, and then it drops off about where the boat is now. Uh, and I quite like to do a little trolling run just there on the way up. So um, that's about all at the minute. I've been trolling up here about three metres of water with a little Rapala, tectonated Rapala shed wrap only a small one, it only goes down a couple of metres and um, I've had the strangest old take there's something on the end of the line I'm wondering whether I've foul hooked a fish or uh, I would say I have, well the line's gone round and quite a nice fish uh, It's all normal, bloody nice fish. If we a brownie, I would say. Look like one, but um, pretty dogged. Just a few ways from a wee boat going past. Well, he's picked up a wee bit of weed. It's a brown, it's as nice a brown as I've picked up up here for a while. Um, Pretty nice brown. Uh, nice brown as I've picked up top of the lake here for a little while. Uh, very nice fish. Three, three and a half pounds, I would say. Um, Articulated shared wrap, uh, and again about uh, between two and a half and three metres of water. Um, again, 
feels like a brown, there's no broaching going on. Ah, get it out of there! Quite good. Few about this morning. Yeah, I got a nice brown down there, and now I've got a a bow. Looks about three pound. Oh, I put in that um piece of moorings. The wee boat, I don't like too long a journey if it gets a bit rough. Oh, that's not a bad wee fish. Might be a bit bigger than three pound, I think. Yeah, more like about four. I was getting some bloody big ones here this time last year. Up to about seven pounds, some of the rainbows, but not this year. So, um, I would say three, three and a half pound, maybe a wee bit more. Oops, slipped out. Hope he's all right. Yep. Uh, this is the uh, little shared rep that I caught. Um, last couple of fish on. Uh, it's one of the smaller ones that only dies down to about two metres. I often use the shad wraps both articulated and unarticulated that go down to about um, four metres. This one was a fire tiger I think is what you call it and too bright for here so uh, I've attacked it with the nail varnish, darkened up the top Greened up the sides with a little darker and keep the orange underneath and it's uh, a lot more than my liking. Um, the rod I use for trolling up here a lot and all these uh, these bib lures is a Dawa AIRDX thing. I, it's, um, they actually sell them as jigging rods. I personally think they're too stiff for a, a jigging rod. But I can fish from this rod. I can fish the um, uh, bib lures that'll go down quite a bit deeper. If I'm really fishing lightly, something will only go down one about one meter. And we'll switch over to the, the lighter gear there. The reel is uh, light dawa, light game, whatever it is but uh, with 10 pound braid on there. The reason I've got it is it's got a counter on it and um, I can, uh, no, I know how much line I've got out, which affects the depth. But also, um, with this boat, I'm using the two stroke main motor to troll a bit more, which is a bit, bit noisier. So I, I'm tending to use a slightly shallower diving lure and um, try and get to the same depth by putting, normally I might go between 40 and 50 yards here. Sometimes quite a lot more. Um, with this boat I'm, I, motor, I, I'm going around about 80, 70 to 80 to get well behind um, the noise of the boat. The little trolling motor I can use too, but it, some of the lures it doesn't go quite quick enough. This is a uh, one that's a bit on the boundary, um, but we'll uh, we'll start the old motor up and get going. So that's two fish in about three or four hundred yards here, both nice.
just lost another one. Um, I actually came up here today to get out on the flats over here and fish little marabou jigs with my light spinning gear. Uh, it was really just trolling up here. Uh, but it seems to be working, so I'm going to keep going uh, at the moment. With the same little shed wrap on. There's a wee deep channel just up in here. Uh, with a bit of current in it. And... Uh, gets a wee bit deeper so if, deep, if need be we'll put on a, a deeper diving lure for a little while if we have to. Beautiful day. Um, we don't get as much many fish with the sky quite as clear as that but it's still working today. Um, these rain's looking really awesome there. Looking into the upper Clusa Basin. Another boat over there on the boat ramp coming in. Well, we're in again. Uh, approached. I think it's a rainbow, not a not a monster. We got a lot of video. 